Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this beautiful beach tumbler. I'm gonna show you how to block out the Starbucks logo. I'm gonna show you step by step how to put the glitter, the waves, and yeah, keep watching and you'll find out how. So I'm gonna start off by mixing the epoxy. I'm doing three cups, so just to give it a thin tacky layer, let's say we're gonna do uh, 15 of part A and 15 of part B. And my medicine cups are kind of hard to read once I put the epoxy in it, like the numbers kind of fade away. So I like to mark the outside with the Sharpie, that way I can see where my line is. I have my popsicle stick. This is my part A. So I'm just gonna fill it up to this line. So here's 15. Just scoop all this out. And it has to be an even ratio of A and B, so make sure you scrape every little piece out, every little bit, because if it's uneven, your tumbler won't cure properly. It'll, it'll stay tacky and it won't ever get dry. Okay, and then I'm going to do 15 of the B part. And just pour that in. And scrape every little amount that's in there. I'm just gonna mix it this way. And I'm just gonna mix it until it gets clear. It's kind of noisy in here. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm using the spinets. I have four of the spinets going on, and those are very loud. I recently got like a heavy duty box tumbler and that one's very quiet so I like that one instead so I know you're supposed to mix the epoxy very very slowly to avoid getting any air bubbles but this is only gonna be the first layer and then I'm gonna cover it with um, with glitter so that really doesn't matter right now make sure you scrape the edges because if it's not mixed properly, that too will also cause your cup not to dry properly. It'll stay tacky. And I know everybody has their own way and their own technique of doing it. This is just mine. And I don't believe there's a right or a wrong way as long as you know you have your way of doing it and whatever works best for you um, that's it this is just my way okay so everything looks properly mixed I'm gonna move the camera over to my spinners and we'll get started So these are my three cups that I'm going to be doing the beach theme on. First I started out by covering the logo with a piece of vinyl. These, this dimension is a 2.171 by 2. So it's not a circle, it's an oval. So then I took them out to spray paint. After the spray paint dried, I just got some tweezers and I just lifted up the sticker, that way the 
the paint doesn't get stuck and it's going to be harder for me to remove at the end. So just loosen them up. That way it's easy to take off. That way it's not like sealed to it. So that's what I did. So let's start off by putting the epoxy on it. Make sure you're using a glove. Okay, so I have my mixed epoxy. And I'm just gonna rub it all over to get a very, very thin, even coat. And this is only the coat that the glitter is gonna stick to, so it doesn't have to be thick, just very thin enough that, you know, the glitter is gonna get stuck to it. I got a new spinner and this one's so slow. I really like it. I'm just not used to the slowness of it. I think this is a three to two spins per minute. Because I think that's what it is, three to two spins per minute. I don't know. It says three to two. But I'm used to the five to six, so you know that's a huge difference. But I like it. It's really heavy duty. I just wish it was a little faster. Okay, so I'm just gonna work the epoxy around. Yeah, this is super, super slow, but it's alright, we'll work with it. I'll probably just do one that you guys can see, and then I'll do these other two off camera, or else this video is going to be super, super long. But I'm just going to do one, that way you get the idea on how to do it. Okay, I usually rub my glove up to the the edges of the cup. That way the epoxy can seep inside that fold. Okay, so I actually took the arm off the uh, my turner. And I've never done this before, but this is actually easier. That way, you, you know, you just rub everything really good make sure you get every single area and this is actually easier so if you have the ability to take the arm off try it this way and let me know how this works for you because i think this is way easier it's okay if you get epoxy on the rim because you're gonna have a baby wipe and you're just gonna wipe it off so that's not a big deal okay so i got every part covered in epoxy so I'm just gonna put this back on my my turner and I'm gonna do these other two off camera um, well actually here I'll do them right now I was gonna do these other two off camera because it was so slow on the turner but I think I'll just do it here since it didn't even take long so let's try this. I have never done this way before guys. And this is actually way, way easier. So this might be my new thing. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way. Whatever works best for you. dip my hand and then just rub it all over. And you don't want a super thick coat. Like I said, this is very, very thin enough so that the glitter can stick to it. 
this is gonna be like the glue, so don't overdo it. Okay, so this is good. So I'm just gonna put this back on. Okay, and I have a lot of epoxy left over. I used way too much, but that's okay. I'm gonna use it for something else. Okay, so you're just gonna grab a baby wipe and you're just gonna clean off the edge. I just wrap it around my thumb and just clean it up. And this side is lifting up a little bit, but that's okay. We just don't want any glitter getting in there. These are the glitters I'm going to be using. These are from Glitter by Loving the Sparkle. And let me tell you which each one is called. This one is called Snow White. This one is Cleopatra. The next one is gonna be Aqua. And then the last one will be Mermaid Tail. And these are really sparkly glitters. I really like this brand. I'll put her info in the description box below if you guys want to order these. These are bomb. Okay, let's start off with the middle turner first. We're going to start off with the sand, so we're going to be using Cleopatra. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next glitter, but before we do that, I like to, to give it a nice transition so it won't be like such a harsh line. Just kinda tap some glitter from up higher. That way, some of it can mix in with the other color. the other ones. Okay, so the next glitter we're going to be using is Snow White. So, I'm just going to unscrew it. And just pour it on right above the other one. And then just tap some lightly under the white 
That way you can mix these two colors together. Okay, same with the other one. Okay, and the next glitter we're going to be using is called Mermaid Tail. This is kind of like a turquoise -y color. And this is going to be the, the water. And if you went too high in your other glitter and it's not sticking, you just could tap it so it could stick. And if you're feeling like you're losing your logo, scratch it up, make a mark, because sometimes you do lose your logo when you put so much glitter. And that's happened to me before where I'm like scratching all over the cup trying to find where the logo is so just make a mark it's right here that way I can take it off later gonna mark my logo right here this is a big must mark your logo because I'm telling you it will get lost with all this glitter <laughs> and on to the final glitter is aqua this one's so pretty. I did a whole cup of this one. It's sanded right now, so it's kind of dull looking. But if you can kind of see through it, it's really, really sparkly. I really, really like this one. Okay, aqua. And this is gonna be your sky. Next, I want to try making a sunset beach themed tumbler. So, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a tutorial of that. Okay, and after you're done with all the glitter, you're just gonna wipe up your rim again with the baby wipe. After your rim is clean, you gotta take off the, the logo sticker. So you're just gonna find a little crease fill it. Don't forget to take this off because if not it will stick to your cup with the epoxy. It will seal it in. Very important. Take off the sticker.
be very careful doing this because if your little pointer slips, you're going to scratch up your logo and you messed up your cup. So just be very, very careful taking it off. So this is it for the first part. We're just gonna let this spin and dry for like four to six hours. And after that, we'll, I'll show you what to do with the next step. Okay, so these are dry now and I brought them out so I can seal the glitter in. And the reason I seal it is because when I do the epoxy again, I don't want um, any like glitter going to the bottom or like, you know, it, it mixing up. So that's a reason why I seal it and another reason is because I want to keep this logo as clean as possible from the glitter and we're going to get a few specks of glitter on the logo but it's okay. We're just trying to keep it as clean as possible. So what I'm going to be using is this Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Clear and I usually use the matte but this is all they had. So I don't think there's really much of a difference and if there is, we'll find out. So let me show you how. It's kind of windy so I'm just going to go against the wind. So you're just going to give it a nice thin layer around it. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, wind's blowing this way. And that's pretty much it and I'm gonna do this to the rest of the cups and um, we'll get back and do the waves okay I had the cups back on the turners after I sprayed these outside with the sealer I let them dry for a couple hours and now we're gonna have and now I have some epoxy mixed we're gonna do a thick coat that way way when we do the um, the waves on it the epoxy can um, like move with it so it'll give it a good a good wave look to it so let's get started see when we sealed the glitter outside see I don't get much glitter on my finger so that's what we were going for So right before I started filming, I had this cup full of epoxy and I spilled the whole cup on top of my new turner. So I had to clean everything up so I hope my turner doesn't get messed up. It's wood but I had the little switches on it so I hope those don't get stuck. So I've just been playing around with it every now and then to give it a little flip so they don't get stuck. That was my bad. So watch out where you put the epoxy because accidents do happen. Make sure you get inside the creases and we're gonna clean it with the baby wipe later on. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna do these the exact same way. And I'm just gonna do these off camera or else this video is gonna be super, super long. So I'll be back when we have these all epoxy. Okay, so I put some epoxy aside. So I have um, some mica powder. And mica powder is um, it's kind of a powder that gives it kind of like a, like a pearl look to it. So I have some mica powder and I'm gonna make some acrylic paint with it. So it's not so sheer. Five dots and a little scoop of this with my little popsicle stick. Don't like that much. I'm just gonna mix it. And this you could just mix to your liking if you want it more more white you can put more white acrylic if you want it more pearl put some more mica this looks really good can you see that it has like a, a pearl effect to it that's what I like. So I think this is good. So this is all mixed in, so let me just put my stuff away and we'll make some waves. And I also got this on Amazon. I got a big pack of mica, power, mica powders. They weren't expensive. I forgot how much, but they were good price. So I'll, I'll try to find them and put the, the link in the description also. So, let's get started. All you're going to do is just drizzle it on. And there's no pattern to it, just do whatever you like. And try to avoid the logo, that's the reason why we covered it in the first place. And make sure you have something under so you don't get too much of a mess. add a little bit more white to it. And the reason why we wanted it thick is because so when you do these lines it spreads out see do some squigglies oops see I got some there so I'm just gonna get my glove and wipe it off Okay. 
These are the clouds up here. And then after that, you're going to get your heat gun and just move them up with your heat. And then just let them swirl around for a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start on my other one. You just string it along. See how these are moving really nicely? So it looks a little iffy at first, like, uh, I don't know about that. But it mixes, it, it shifts really nicely. Just trust the process. It's my number one thing. Some on the logo here, so I'm just gonna clean that up. I'm gonna do this one and then I'll heat them up together. Okay, so let's heat these and see how they look. This one's already looking really good. And if it's going into your logo, just clean it up with your gloved finger. So I'm going to give these heat.
And since the cup is warm and the epoxy is still shifting around, these lines are, they look harsh right now, but they're gonna move around. That's why we heated it up. Okay, I'm not gonna touch these anymore because I think they look good. So we're just gonna let these spin overnight and we'll check back on these in the morning. Okay, so this is the final look after the waves. See how everything just blended nicely? So the next step to this is I'm just gonna sand any rough edges that I have, like the bottom and up here is a little bit rough and anything in the middle. And after that sanding, one more layer of epoxy and that should be it. And you could add any decals, um, images, whatever you want, but that's pretty much it. Okay, that's pretty much it for today's video. I did give the cup an extra layer of epoxy just to seal in those waves. And then I gave it a good sand. I sanded the edges and the top and whatever was rough around. I didn't record it, but if you guys would like to see how I did it, let me know in the comments below. And I'll show you guys how to sand in the next video. And I put on this decal. This was a special order. So this is what this customer wanted. And you can do whatever you want to it. You can even add um, like a quote on the bag, whatever you like. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my content, subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Thanks, guys.